All right, we're going to move on to another uh, vehicle in the series uh, where I'm looking at um, taking the Drukhari or Dark Eldar models from 40k and uh, transporting them into Age of Sigmar as um, Caradron Overlords, so hence the name Drukhari Dron Overlords. Um, this, is, this is just a process I go through just trying to compare the two because I know that sometimes I could be asking my opponent to make a big, you know, big step to believe these um, as stand-ins for other models. Uh, most of the time, people love the conversions and, and playing with them, but once in a while. And so what I try and do, again, is make everything as uh, one-to-one -one as I can. So here I'm looking at um, uh, a third ship. Uh, I, I've looked in depth at the uh, Ravagers as the Iron, uh, sorry, as the Frigates. Um, I haven't touched, uh, the flagship that I looked at initially was um, the Forge World Dark uh, Eldar ship, which I'm, the name is escaping me, the, starts with a T, um, with the um, Ironclad. I haven't gone in depth on that, that'll probably be one of the last ones I look at. Um, but, I, you know, because I, I feel like pretty confident in that one, so I want to jump into these smaller units. After this one, I'll be looking at um, some of the Sky Riggers and um, Endrin Riggers, or Sky Wardens and Endrin Riggers and uh, the Foot Troops, etc. So I'll do a, maybe a second video, or the next video may be all Foot Troops, or I might divide that into two more videos. Nonetheless, um, so looking at uh, the Gunstruck Gun Hauler uh, here on the left, sorry, on the right, um, you can see this is our, our Karadran vehicle. Um, flyer, and then on the left is the Drukhari Venom, which is uh, what I would be looking at as a stand-in. Um, now they both, you know, similar sizes, they look like they have similar bases, etc. Um, so some really good things here. Um, let's start off with a little look at the rules and see if there's anything Uh, let's just look through the big. So the fast and armed with a powerful main gun. The Gunshot Gun Hauler is the deadly escort class ship of the Crater and Overlords. Uh, air fleet, these small maneuverable craft are tasked with ensuring the safety of the air fleet's larger ships and its role they perform well, swarming in defense before peeling off to launch deadly attack runs. Uh, so this seems really cool. Um, one of the vehicles that was in the running of some of the Eldar or Dark Eldar sky bikes or, or whatnot um, it could be interesting with the, if there was three of them to the one kind of thing, but I really like the idea of this being a one-to-one. -one. So this is a, um, as you can see with the um, ship here is that you've got, um, you've got, uh, how do I put it, um, you know, you've got basically a, a good size frame, um, and then you've got a couple of passengers a uh, big gun, um, and there's some similarities here. Um, so I think these are the right, are put the best shot at the right fit. Um, so options here, a gun shot gun hauler is a single model armed with a sky cannon or a drill cannon. Um, so it can't have both. Uh, so sky cannon, drill cannon, um, you know, so the sky cannon has uh, the same range. Um, some different damages. I think I know that this is a D3 damage. Um, the war scroll on the website hasn't changed yet. Um, and then it's got the, the carbines. It also, again, has um, uh, racks of gr grudge setter bombs, fragmentation charges, and detonation drills. So the ironclad has the same thing. Um, that is one of the probably bigger uh, things is, is this set of... of Bombs. What does what does this venom have similarly? Now, uh, visually, it has some things down here. So maybe these could get instead of spikes could get turned into something. Um, uh, the the uh, ravenger has um, some kind of chains with hooks that drag along the bottom. So, so maybe something like that, where the the bombs are something that drags underneath or something that they can let go. Um, something a little bit more. Eldar or uh, Dark Elf uh, ish. Um, so that's something that definitely needs to be addressed. And the crew of the gun shark gun hauler operate these deadly armaments that will defend their vessel with belaying valves if need be. So belaying valves are their 
their uh, kind of melee. Now, the one of the things I notice here is that there's only uh, two. Looks like there's only two um, dwarden in the gun hauler, um, and right now there's four uh, dark elves. So potentially, um, you know, there's a pilot in here that you can't see, and then uh, there's a gunner, which looks to be the the comparison. So um, this one and uh, this one may not be necessary, or maybe could be used uh, for other bits uh, someplace else. Um, let's see. Then the bomb racks, obviously, uh, head full in each of your hero phases. The captain of the so there's a can give this order if they do so. Your next hero phase, you can reroll, run, and charge rolls. So that's pretty cool. Giving um, reroll, run, and reroll charging. Um, and it, it takes damage for other vehicles. So all this kind of stuff seems like this vehicle fits. Um, so let's look again then at some of the conversion things. So the biggest thing is the getting the, the bomb loadout. Um, the only other thing that, that again, uh, I'm trying to do with these is give them as much kind of presence as uh, these, and so either um, I need to figure out, and I'll do this maybe with uh, an orange color, because I think these are going to be, you know, kind of solar wings. Either find some way to create these, you know, bigger wings that have more presence, or even, um, you know, something. that could work on either side. Again, just to give it some, some more presence. Uh, this is a very sleek ship compared to the gun hauler, which is a, um, a much more bulbous and, and um, non-aerodynamic uh, design. Um, so still something that gives it, I think, you know, part of what you're looking for is just height. Um, what will give it some more height um, and, you know, then be able to, you know, model that on there. So that's one of the things I'm looking at with these. Um, that's probably the biggest obstacle modeling wise. Uh, I think I would uh, remove this cockpit, which has glass, which seems too modern, um, and do it more open air. Um, I'll probably take out this gun, um, but just you know, fit these to, to what we're looking at. And, or maybe the big gun is here, and this is the, the carbine. Um, Um, so, yeah, I mean, so we want to, one, we need to get some height and presence. Oh, can't even read that. So I think, yeah, so first some height. And presence, and then um, we need to do the bomb thing, uh, and then you know the cockpit, and maybe fewer crew. Anyway, so I think this one's going to be pretty straightforward. I think it's a cool kit. Uh, it'll be much more aerodynamic than um, than the gun hauler, uh, and you know, the other uh, Eldar, uh, yeah, Dark Eldar stuff or Dark Elf stuff in the, in Age of Sigmar. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think it's a good, I, I'm hoping it'll be, be good. I can't wait to, I don't have the kit yet, but as I've gone through this, now I've gone through a couple, I've been actually obviously thinking about this more. I did do a um, Twitter poll about um, my next project either being this um, or a Flesh Eater Court. Um, uh, army and this one won by uh, probably double uh, the idea of the flesh eater court um, and the idea that I'd put out there again and I talked about it last time was kind of this chrome uh, Vince uh, Venturella if you watch read the notes from the last video gave me some great feedback and some thoughts on it I've had some time to, to practice a little bit um, I don't have a uh, picture of that up but uh, I'll once I get to 
maybe a video on, on color of the paint and that sort of stuff. I'll talk a little bit more about it because there's some interesting um, differences about um, these ships uh, design that could make uh, yeah could make the paint job uh, really interesting or really not read the way you expect it to. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to uh, sharing more of this with you as I get through it. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments below uh, if you like this style. Um, I do have other armies that I've converted um, and I'm in the process of converting. So if you would like to see videos on those, um, either my um, uh, Ogre Nid um, uh, army, Beast Claw, uh, Bug Claw Avalanche, which is Ogres riding Tyranids, or uh, my uh, Undead where ever, um, you know, basically raising up an, uh, a unit from every other army uh, to fit in my death army. Um, so if you'd like to hear more about those or see more about those, um, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Um, in a couple of days, hopefully, we'll have a video up here from the Mortal Realms podcast of uh, the crew kind of getting together and, and uh, talking some more about uh, what we've been up to. So anyway, uh, again, thank you for watching.